Hello everybody, welcome to my workshop here in Spain. Uh, we're going to continue on with these teapots that we've been, um, we've been in the process of making. Um, here's a teapot, now this I've glazed, it's been cleaned off as you can see the wax has resisted well. Now make sure that you clean off well here around where the, the lid sits and just make sure that you've got a, a margin around there so there's no doubt whether the lid is going to stick on there or not that's important um, one thing to mention while we're while we're at it the as some people have been mentioning to me corresponding with me the holes that are inside the uh, the teapot there to see whether they are in fact blocked the, the holes that strain the tea now in this case uh, they are a little bit blocked so what I'm going to do is I've got a porcupine quill here you can use anything, but anything that can get in there and unblock those holes. Just prick them out, okay? That's just what I'm doing now. Where the holes were, are. Just cleaning them out there. Sometimes a, a bit of a, a bit of metal that's got a slight curve on it is actually is actually good for that. Anyway, the important thing is to make sure that they're they're unblocked. All right. Give them a good blowout. Right. Now, um, just see that there. Just give that a little wipe. As I said, make sure that you've got everything well cleaned off. And also, on the base, around here, around the foot, that that is well, well cleaned. Always clean back a little bit of an extra bit. Right. If you've got seals that are there hidden un under the glaze what I do is just to show them that they come forth I just give them a little rub like that okay if you just just thin the glaze over the seal then um, the seal will show itself forth underneath I don't mind uh, if a seal isn't too predominant if it's a little bit subtle just hidden under the glaze but still vis visible I think that's the right, the right, the right thing. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just centre that up. Now, when the gla when the teapot is um, at this stage, the glaze is a little bit powdery on the surface. So be careful as you touch it, because if you make it too, if you rough it up too much with your fingers you will find it difficult to now I'm, as you see I'm banding on here just a, a line of iron oxide and just put a bit of iron oxide there over the over the two lugs like that right that's now going to be ready for uh, an appropriate decoration to go on each side there what I generally do is if I've got a lot to do I'll put them on the board, band them up, get them all ready and then, then I'll decorate them come back to decorating them oh. depends if I'm sort of doing like a freehand decoration or oh, those holes are okay I can see that okay so we just band on a little This is just iron oxide and water here that I'm using. You can sieve the iron oxide and the water as well. Sometimes you get a, a bit better mix then. The iron oxide does dissolve down in the water pretty well though, you know. So that one, right, that one there, and so on and so forth. There we are, we're, we're getting them ready now just for the final decoration and they're going straight in the kiln. Alright folks, keep with us and we'll get to the decorating shortly. <laughs> 